And this is your desktop menu. There's a lot of stuff you can do in here, but we're gonna look at screen recorder. So I'm gonna click this here. And now I'm gonna show you the similarities. We just saw the Chrome. Similarities between desktop and Chrome. You have the bubble. You can zoom yourself in, change shape, all the stuff you just saw. You can do a virtual background. You also have the annotation tool and you have the teleprompter. So all that's similar. Now, some of the differences. So see this red slash through this right here? If I was to hit record right now, I'd be getting my entire desktop. But if I get rid of the red slash, now I have a drop down, and this says custom. So what this is, is I can move this thing wherever I want to. I can also crop. So if I have a document or a Canvas slide or part of a website I want to get, or even part of my desktop screen, I have the ability to crop around anything I want to crop around. And as long as I'm inside the square here, you can see me in there. I can also go here, go 16 by nine for YouTube. I can even do nine by 16 for social media. This is a really cool one. So if you don't wanna be on your phone, you can just crunch your internet browser or whatever you want on the screen, crunch it, go this style, this orientation and portrait. And now you've done a social video for like, you know, Instagram reels, TikTok, uh, YouTube shorts, all that good stuff. Now, also, when I hit record here, here's another difference. So when I hit record, I'm, um, um, actually, you know, let me do that first. Hold on, let me hit record. Okay, watch. So here we go, I hit record. And now I'm recording a video. And just like before, I can pause and resume this video, which is, which is totally normal. But the difference here is when I click the check mark, I'm not saving it into dub. What's happening is I've just recorded a physical clip. So the desktop app, is a clip recorder. The Chrome extension is one video you pause and resume. So with this, there's some cool advantages. I can click this little button that says drag and drop videos, right? I can click here. It brings me right to where I, um, where I am inside here. I'm gonna grab a video from my computer. And now I just dropped it in there. And I can physically move this around too. So I don't have to record chronologically. You can do the end first, the middle, whatever you want because you can move these clips. And you can also download or delete each individual clip as well if you want to do that. Now, if I want to keep recording, I'm going to click record screen below. It's going to bring me right back to where I was. I'm going to hit record again. And now I'm just building this out. I'm recording another clip as I'm doing here. I'm going to hit save. There's the clip that's recorded. Now I have three clips. I can also click record webcam below here. So maybe I want this to be my opening. I click record here or it could be my ending or my middle, whatever I want. Hey, this is Rob. Listen, thanks for watching this video. One of those kinds of deals. Hit the check mark. And now I can move this to the front if I want to. So a lot of options here with this. And then when I'm done, I would click done recording. It's going to merge our clips together into one video. I can do a quick little edit down here. I can download the video to my computer and I can upload the finished one into dub. So Chrome extension, one video you pause on desktop app, click record.